what's up guys okay y'all today we're gonna be doing a flower box for this DIY you're gonna need some white labels gold foil coffee filters spray paint a glue gun ribbon and a container of your choice I'm using this cocoa container so let's get started guys The first step is going to be spray paint your container. You can use any spray paint that you would like. I'm using white. So let me get started with my spray painting. Okay, while your spray paint is drying on your container, you can start on your coffee filter flower. Now guys, I have a lot of videos with coffee filter flowers and how to actually create them. But I'm gonna show you somewhat, maybe like a new technique of the flower that I'm gonna use for this particular project. But I wanted to show you guys that I did already dye my coffee filter flowers using just regular food coloring. And of course I got my coffee filter flowers from Dollar Tree. So uh, I do have a video of showing how I dye my coffee filter flowers so check that video out and i'll leave the video in the description box down below okay y'all this is the flower that i'm going to show you guys how to make how cute is that okay i already know so for this demonstration you're going to need three coffee filters so i'm just show you that this is three damn now, y'all, this is going to be kind of hard for me to do on camera. So, work with me, okay? So, you're just going to take these three, fold it in half. Once. Fold it again. And then fold that bad boy the last time. Now, this is how I did my other coffee filter flower. So this ain't nothing new. But some of you guys, it may be new. So this part is not new, but I just wanted to show you anyway. So then I'll, I'll take <clears throat> the scissors, and you just cut out any petal shape that you desire. I don't have none in particular. So I just be cutting to be keep it all the way 100 with you guys. So that's gonna be my, my flower petal as you see, and I cut all three at the same time. You just saw it. So then you undo it, and then that's how it looks. So now this is the fun part. Then you're gonna take all three, and you're gonna, um, whatever you call it, make it like different. So here you got the two. Actually, I'm gonna put this yellow one in the middle. So, but you want it to not go perfectly on each other. Kind of like space it. Uh, like, I don't know what the heck I'm trying to say. But y'all see what I'm doing. So have it like at different angles, placements. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. So <laughs> do it like how you see it's done. How about that? So then you're going to fold it again like you just did. Fold it in half the best way and then fold it again. This time we're just gonna do two folds and the halfway point as best way as you can. Okay guys, I'm gonna try it the opposite way. So have the opening over here and then this is the closing. So I'm gonna still take the middle section like that. That's the middle section guys. And then I'm gonna twist the bad boy and hopefully it'll come out better. Make sure you're holding it. Twist that bad boy, twist that bad boy. Okay, then you release the um, tweezers and see how that looks better already. And then, you keep it gathered, and then you fold it down. That's important, guys. Y'all make sure y'all do it just like I showed you. Or you're going to have a jacked up looking one like I just showed you just a second ago. So 
So I'm gonna finish unfolding this and I'll be right back. And there you have it guys, when you unfold it. What the gist of it. And just keep on like pulling it out. And you get your cute little flower. And then you're gonna glue right here. You're gonna glue, high glue it, and then readjust it to to make it come out looking good like that one. Alrighty guys. For the sticker that you're gonna apply on the box, just Google that. I cannot even pronounce it. I'm not even going to try. And Maison de Flores? Flores? I don't know. It means House of Flowers, I do believe. So this is the sticker that I clicked on and got, I do believe. So you just click on it. Y'all know. Um, copy, paste, download, whatever. And then I took it into Photoshop because I wanted my sticker to be white and gold. So I just took the black out, you know. And that's how my sticker going to look. And so then the next step, I'll show you. Oh, okay. So all I did was, as you saw, I um, changed the sticker. And then I downloaded the template of the stickers that I'm using, guys. And I just placed the image within the templates. Now, my sticker is going to be small because my container is small. So, y'all can have y'all sticker or whatever y'all using as large as you would like. But this is how small my is going to be for my container. And there you have it. My label is printed out. Now, I use a laser printer, guys. Oh, yeah. So, um, that's the only printer well ink or what have you you have to use if you're going to foil it now if you're not going to use foil uh and just going to print out the le white label with the gold lettering go right ahead you know it'll it'll be just as cute but i'm trying to be a little fancy so i'm about to foil it so let's do the next step okay guys i don't know um how many of y'all are familiar with the foiling technique but I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial. So I keep scraps of all my foil because I don't like wasting stuff. So this is, since this is a small project and I, you see I cut out the sticker, you just lay your foil of your color, your choice like this. You're going to cut it to size. And then once you cut it, then you put it on the, in this paper, this, um, it's a folder, it's a plastic folder. Then you're going to put it in there like that with the foil on top. So I'm going to show you once I cut it because, yes, I'm holding the camera now. But I can't do all of, the, all of it at once. But I just want to show you all the general steps. Okay, guys. I put the uh, foil over the uh, sticker like I show y'all. And I use a laminator. I don't use the fancy mink or whatever that machine is called because this works just as fine just as well whatever this is the brand I use nothing fancy and I use it on the highest temp or thickness or I don't know so anyway it's hot and we just put this bad boy through it so it's just going through it now I usually make it go through it at least about three times guys just to make sure I got the right coverage that I want and it's that simple, guys. And I always rub it. And like what, like I said, you have to use a laser printer. Inkjet will not work at all. Laser. Okay, guys, this is my favorite part, the big reveal. Now, if you don't have all the coverage that you would like, desire, then you could just get some more foil and lay over the pieces that was not covered and it should normally just flake off or fall off but it's going to be a little extra today and and there you have it your cute little gold sticker can you see here's it here's it we did a pretty good job i'm happy with it 
So you go, to go, to go. Okay guys, the next step is we're gonna take the lid of your container. And once again, I don't really know what this is. I got it from a Dollar Tree and I just always use it to poke my holes. So you wanna poke a hole as, as centered or whatever as possible all the way through. And it's just that simple, guys. And then we're gonna punch your hole, of course, across the way from it. Now, once you punch your hole, you're gonna thread whatever ribbon. I'm using a small ribbon, but you can use a larger ribbon and you can make a larger hole. And then I'm gonna put the ribbon in there. So once I make my additional hole, and then I'm gonna thread my ribbon, and I'll be right back. I just want to show you guys that this is not that easy. I'm using the same poker to push the thread, the uh, ribbon through, guys. And I just kept pushing it through until I was able to grab it. And so now the ribbon is through. I just wanted to show you guys just in case y'all was having as much pro uh, problems as I just happened to have. But that's all you had to do. Okay, so once you have uh, threaded your ribbon through your the hole, all you're gonna do is tie a knot, guys, so the ribbon can stay. So just tie a little knot on both sides. Sorry for my ashy painted hands, guys. <laughs> and, and to just make sure it's secure. And that's it. So let's get to putting our flowers on it, guys. Okay guys, then you take your lids and you have your flowers everywhere. Now, the whole point of this, you wanna be able to use it. So, some kind of way, Father. Yeah, I know how I do it. I'm really just freestyling. But you're gonna um, glue your flowers on here. But you wanna make sure that um, this is up high. Oh, this ain't easy. Maybe it look better like this, guys. Hee <laughs> hee. I kind of crumpled it a little bit, but you see, you get the gist. But make sure you hold this up because you want to be able to make sure you're able to use it. And you'll see what we're going to use it for in a minute. So I'm going to apply the rest of the flowers, but I just wanted to show you the starting point. And there you have it, guys. The finished lid. How cute is that, guys? This is a total of seven flowers, coffee filter flowers. You can, of course, add more or less. And I think it's cute all around, guys. And so once you have your lid all completed, then I've already added my sticker to my container. How cute is that, guys? That go, though, that go. <laughs> so then you just place it on the lid. Oh my god. And with the string guys, you could actually hang it in something. And all as you saw that since you have an empty container, you have a flower box as well as a usable container, so you can store away any little thing in your little cute little flower box. But I thought this is so cute. And I think it'll be a cute uh Valentine's Day present could even be a cute Mother's Day present as well as a birthday present. So, you already know, y'all. Y'all can use it the way y'all want to use it. <laughs> but I just thought it was so freaking cute and so freaking easy, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, go ahead and hook me up with a thumbs up. See you guys next Friday.